Well, you guys, welcome to another segment of You Can't Make This Stuff Up. But apparently, um, this is what our taxpayer dollars is bankrolling as far as police uh, conduct goes in some places. Not saying this is all cop behavior, but this goes on a lot that they don't want to report about policemen, you know, um, basically going beyond the calls of duty. But it looked like with me, this is the call of booty instead of duty but nevertheless this officer should be fired uh he should never be allowed to basically practice law enforcement ever again based off the fact that he has no respect for himself the public or the badge you know he basically took an oath to protect and serve not serve a woman up in a police vehicle um, on taxpayer dollar and on police time. Apparently, this is a dude that been screwing around with this woman, this woman of um, Nigerian descent, but uh, she's American because she served in the U.S. military. Probably she was a, a army whore because this lady was um, um, in quote talking about she have a obsession with white men now this this whore uh apparently has three children and people did some research on her um and she basically has no remorse because this officer is also married and it seems to me you know based off what his wife looks like uh she appears to be you know black and he might be one of these dudes that have what you call a chocolate fetish you know, and do not think because he, you know, likes that uh, black, you know, that black chocolate, that black chocolate pudding that he likes black people. This is the typical, you know, what you call possibly, you know, suspect. I don't have enough information on him as a whole, but a lot of times you run into these type of cops, you know, and you didn't did research on them and you didn't found out about them that they have this thing towards black men where they like to mess with black men. And what I mean by harass them, pick on them, profile them. But then they feel like it's a form of taunting them because they're going home to a black woman. Now, like I said, I don't have enough research on this dude's personal life. I don't know, um, have this dude had any complaints of misconduct against him but i wouldn't be surprised and as you guys see this dude's face i wouldn't be surprised if in the next couple of days that information starts to surface about this dude probably having incidents with um black pedestrians probably you know um basically coming up with a way to pull him over profile and all this kind of stuff i've seen this before i've done several videos about this but nevertheless despite that at the very least he shouldn't have a badge he's been sent suspended but they're talking about pending uninvestigated what is there to investigate this is a dude basically somebody filmed him and apparently this incident with this lady, he's had quite a few of these meetups. And apparently this latest meetup happened, well, basically a few days ago. Uh, it looked like it happened as early as Monday. And basically um, they were in a public place because uh, when you see the actual video, you see kids running around. And they're saying this incident happened uh, near a playground. So this man didn't even have enough decency to go somewhere like in the hills or go somewhere in a secluded place. This dude basically told her to meet him at a park and they got in the back of the pol police car and started it started messing around. And it just goes to show you that this lady has no respect for herself because, dang, you screw it around with a dude in a cop car. Y'all don't even have the decency to go. I mean, man, you can't afford a hotel. Y'all can't meet up after he get off of work. Must be something that she keeping from him. She must have. She she must be with somebody. Cause I mean, man, they can't even meet up at a hotel. 
Now, this bed wench, this um, Nigerian woman, apparently has three kids of her own. And people did research on her. They're saying that her first husband, who apparently, at the very least, uh, had, you, you know, possibly was black or Nigerian like her, left her because she was cheating on him. And then if you look at some of her posts, she is delusional. She says in her mind, she don't think she did nothing wrong. But of course, she's trying to blame it on the wife saying, well, you were cheating on him and all this kind of stuff. Well, that information hasn't been revealed yet. But, you know, basically the wife who happens to be a black woman has, you know, basically put out some stuff saying that this is a, t a tough time. I know it is. And it's kind of funny. So that's for these uh, black content creators, too, who are always trying to put these, you know, um, you, you know, these um, mayonnaise nation members on a higher pedestal saying that they treat them so much better. I haven't seen these kind of stories for years, but they don't really get, you know, they don't really get reported and they don't go viral because keep in mind, there is this thing to at all costs demonize black men. But I find this hilarious to a certain degree and this puts a smile on my face. I was going to do a part two to this, but I feel like I'll just tackle everything in one video and move on from this. But nevertheless, this guy needs to be fired. Not investigated, not sus suspended. He needs to be fired. They have all the proof that they need what justification that you have to be inviting somebody in the in the back of a police vehicle and spending at least 40 minutes in there and then all of a sudden both of y'all are seeing getting out the car what could you possibly be doing usually in most cases when you get put in the back of, of a police car um uh, Usually you take a ride downtown unless it's a extreme situation where they basically put you in the car in case something happened to calm you down or they just running a background check. And usually they let you go 40 minutes and you didn't see her getting in the in the car with handcuffs on. She got in there willingly. As a matter of fact, she opened the door. <laughs> so there you go. And there's other videos or uh, possibly pictures surfacing. I guess somebody else caught them doing this. I guess paid attention no mind. And now that this story is broke out, they're like, OK, well, here's uh, here's additional footage. So he's been doing this for a while. So like I said, this dude has no regard for the badge. And that's real, real call. So my thing is he should be fired. There's no way to get around this. And that's just real talk. So there you have it. Anyway, um, just wanted to get my opinion of the situation. But yeah, this guy, he needs to lose his badge. And if they could find a way to bring him up on some kind of charges, he should be brought up on some kind of charges. I don't know um, what is the law out there in uh, PG County uh, slash uh, Maryland. But at the very least, this dude need to lose his badge. That is just the bottom line. And there's just no way you can justify this. You can not justify this type of behavior and conduct, especially on, on police time. He's on the clock. It would be bad enough if he was doing this, you know, not in uniform, because keep in mind, officers are held to a different standard versus regular people. Because police officers, to a certain degree, they're considered public figures because they work with the public. So that's a little different than, you know, when you hear about celebrities, and random people do it. But this is a married police officer with children who has no regards for his wife or his family. And basically, he don't even respect himself because he basically screwing around with her in a police vehicle. Damn, he don't even have a decency to meet up with her at a hotel dang i mean come on i mean that's another thing i mean he should at least make enough money and or both of them to meet up in a in a hotel 
I mean, for real. But then again, he married. And then her, like I said before, the police, she have no respect for herself. You sitting up there screwing around with a dude in a police car? Man, talk about Bad Winch Chronicles. But anyway, there you have it. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.